What's up, everybody? This is John Hammond, and showcasing some more of the Google Capture the Flag CTF. Again, another shout-out to Live Overflow. He is an awesome YouTuber that I played this game with. He looked at some of the legitimate challenges while I stuck with the baby stuff at the Beginner's Quest. But if you haven't seen his stuff before, totally check him out on YouTube. Totally subscribe. He has incredible content. So let's get to the real stuff that I want to talk about today. Um, the Beginner's Quest of the Capture the Flag competition. Let's move into the second challenge in the miscellaneous category, and this is called called Floppy. It says, using the credentials from the letter, you logged into the Fubanizer 9000 PC. It has a floppy drive. Uh, why? <laughs> There's an icon file on the disk, but it doesn't smell right. Hmm. Let's go ahead and download this attachment. Save this into GCTF, where we were working out of. Um, the directory, we can call it floppy. And let's open up a terminal and see what we've got to work with. CD2 GCTF floppy. Um, totally can't type. This file is, what are we actually looking at here? Another zip archive. Okay, so let's move that to floppy.zip. And now we can unzip that pretty easy. Good. Let's see what we've got here. We've got an icon file, foo.ico. Um, what is that really? MS Windows icon resource, one icon, 32 by 32. Can we view it? Okay, looks like Borland. Little little beetle thing there. Um, let's see what's really in it. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Ooh, driver.txt, www.com. Huh. Okay. Um, Exif tool, anything? Anything good on that? Food at icon? Nothing, but since we saw those file names in there, maybe there are files hidden inside of this. Let's run binwalk tech e to extract it. Uh, if you don't have binwalk, you can probably uh, sudo app install that. And it did create a new directory for us. It was able to extract some stuff. Let's move into there. And we see that driver.txt and www.com. What do we got here? ASCII text, ASCII text.crfl, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know what this zip may be. Let's start with that. 2FD. Oh, okay, it looks like just a zip archive of these things. Whatever, we can ignore those. I, I didn't extract those. Let's see what we have for driver.txt. Oh! This is the driver for the aluminum key hardware password store device, and it's totally the flag. Okay, whatever. Sweet. Let's, let's call that good. Submit that flag and be done with it. Not too bad at all. Let's note this as flag.txt, because that's good practice. And just for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and create a uh, get flag script for this from download to uh, actually getting the flag, just because I think that's good to do. Get flag.sh, again, shebang line. Let's curl this, get the link. Uh, we can save it as floppy.zip to, to dev null, so we don't see that output. Totally fine to save that. Let's run get flag and do it. Okay, no output on that. Cool. Let's unzip the floppy.zip. And we know we can use tack O to overwrite, and we can actually use tack QQ to remove the output for us. So we don't have to do that trick to dev null and forward any of the standard streams. Let's go back to editing it. What we can do is we can run that binwalk tech E on foo.icon as it extracts. And I think we can use tech Q on that too, right? Is there a uh, tech Q? Tech lowercase Q, quiet. Suppress so output is centered out. Perfect. Um, and now we would have that underscore foo icon extracted. So let's cat everything that's underscored and cut out driver.txt .txt holy cow I cannot type run him okay that prints out the flag for us um, and we're getting extra ICO extractions extra folders because bin is doing that for us so what we can do in our get flag script is actually remove anything that has that starting with that underscore thankfully binwalk has that for us um, in a smart way. Just using that underscore to denote this is the output of binwalk. And now they're all gone, so once we run get flag script, it'll do that cleanly for us. So 
we can cat that out, grep for the CTF line, and that has a couple indents in the way. So we can do a nice trick to remove all that white space by doing a while well read line echo that line. So the white space goes away and we have just the flag output from download to flag retrieval. Cool. Now let's move floppy to floppy complete. And we are done with that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you're enjoying some of these videos. Um, again, nothing too crazy. Some of the beginner quest stuff. But hopefully there's some interesting content that you guys like. Um, some syntax or techniques you like to see. Uh, reminder and shout out. Check out Live Overflow. He has incredible content. Um, and I hope you are enjoying some stuff from him and some stuff from me. Uh, if you did like the video, please do press that like button. Uh, if you'd like to see more or have some opinion that you'd like to share with me, totally leave a comment. Uh, and if you're willing to subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you, thanks for watching guys. See you in a later video.